Hi guys and welcome to crackchannelcup.com. My name's Leomi Anderson and I know you're probably wondering why is this girl all up in her bed? Like, isn't she meant to be doing a vlog? But let me tell you, Fashion Week has finished me. I'm done. I'm talking sore throat, chesty cough, aching body, everything. Like, I was a write off today, I was in my bed. But as I did promise, I will do the. As I did promise, I would do this vlog. I thought, fuck it, let's just do this. And I know last week I kept saying I was editing it on my Snapchat and that. Nah. I was editing it in my mind. But in reality, nah. I was too busy. I was working like crazy last week. So, you know, couldn't do it. But yeah, we're here now and that's all that matters. Um, let me just explain like my relationship with Fashion Week. Um, my first show season was when I was 17. I'm 22 now. And I know some people think I've only done three show seasons or something. But no, I'm not new to this. I'm worn in like an old boot, mate. Like five years, twice a year, every year pretty much. I've only missed maybe two, two New York seasons and maybe two London seasons. But um, apart from that, I've really been consistently doing this because, you know, every year I feel like I can do better and I can push myself. So, yeah, I've actually done this probably closer to eight times as opposed to four, like what people think. And I wanted to do this vlog to show you guys that before the hair, the makeup, the runways, the glamour, my Instagram posts, it's a real graft. Like, all of us models are out there grinding, like out of our houses by 8 30 getting home at maybe 10 o'clock at night and this is just for castings and castings don't pay guys this is the hard work that we put in to be able to get onto the runways to then be able to get the big money jobs like it's not as easy as people think at all so this part of my video is all about the casting period so you can see the day of, in the life of a model and i'm telling you a majority of it is waiting and i'm waiting and I'm waiting so it's the first day of casting right now. Maybe this wasn't the best spot to like do my video with all this construction around. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this morning I was in a very bad mood because being here isn't as easy as what people think. It's not easy to be here by myself as well. And this is actually my first season in all my career where I'm actually here by myself, by myself. Like when I was younger and starting out, obviously I was in model apartments. And then um, I would stay with someone and then um, obviously have my apartment with my ex-boyfriend. And now I'm here for the first time in my apartment by myself and doing fashion by myself and it's hard because it's actually a time when you need so much support from like your friends, your family, etc. Like it's crazy. It's going to be very challenging but at the same time I feel like it's going to be the most rewarding this season because I've actually sacrificed so much to be here. I could be living it up in Croatia right now, by the way. Like, free of charge, press passes for Outlet Festival, mad stuff, so. All right, violence, but yeah, I'm here. All right, I'm about to pull up to the third well, yeah, the third casting of the day. So let's see how many girls there are. So I came here yesterday and there was there. Is there a sign in New York? Yeah. yeah? All right, thanks. Excuse me. And this is pretty much what our casting period consists of. Going to your castings, signing in, getting your book out, your cards out, your heels out, and waiting. And waiting, I'm waiting some more. This is one of the annoying things that happens during Fashion Week, okay? So you'll get into the lift, yeah, with another group of girls. You step out the lift, and obviously, sorry, I stepped out before you. I'm gonna write my name down, and this is the girl. I was in the lift before you. And. Castings are a vital part of Fashion Week because without them, you're not going to get any shows. You have to meet all the casting directors and designers and the stylists before you can even think about making it onto the runway. 
some castings you can be in and out but there's others where you have to wait up to three hours to be seen and you could be number 233 with 150 girls in front of you like it's not a joke This is the type of tea that I like. My day started off really pants because I was actually really down. I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this fashion week thing alone? Like, it's so hard and it's so, you come home, you're so tired and you just wish that someone was there to like, either like have food or just to have like conversation with because as much as, you know, I spend my whole day surrounded by models, casting directors, photographers, whatever during fashion week, it's still such a lonely time because you just feel so much like you don't even have time to speak to any of these people and when you do speak to them it's not real conversation you know it's just small talk it's very trivial it's very shallow and it's like doing that for a whole day and being around so many different people and so many different energies as well it's it can be very draining so sometimes it's nice to come home to someone who you know who you actually want to speak to your close friend or whatever and you just feel like, okay, my day's ended. But me, I'm just coming home and I'm just like, okay, let me have dinner or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much what every model goes through before the fashion week even starts. You know, we'll be waking up and going to castings that start at 9am and not getting home until like 9.30, 10 o'clock most days. We're walking around New York, which is 35 degrees every single day, guys. The subway's hot and it stinks. Uh, there's rats uh roaches uh crazy people like it's just annoying like the, the setup is already annoying and then on top of that you have the waiting at castings you have to see the same people over and over again you have to act happy you can't even act pissed off about things you have to put on a brave face and that's part of the job as well whether you're tired hungry frustrated stressed depressed when you walk into that casting, you need to leave all that behind you for those next couple of minutes because you can't let these people know how you're actually feeling, you know. Nobody wants a sad, depressed, angry, hungry girl at their show. So you have to smile and you have to find this energy and this, you know, charismatic way about you when really you just want to be like, listen, yeah, I've been waiting outside for three hours. I'm mad hungry. Can we just get this shit over and done with? That's what you're thinking. But on the outside, I'm like, hi guys, my name's Leomi Anderson and I'm with Fusion Model Management. Let me do my walk for you, take my picture. <laughs> I'm not hot and sweaty and tired and depressed and stressed. This is how I always am. Because, you know, it's just part of the, it's part of the game really. And you have to learn how to play it well. Um, things become even more stressful once fashion week actually starts because the castings don't stop. It's not like a normal job where you do the job interview, you get the job, you start the job. No, you're still attending job interviews, you're still going to castings in between shows and once the shows start, that's when the early call time start as well because if a show is meant to start at 10, the call time is usually 3 hours before so that's me having to be at work at 7am. For Tommy Hilfiger, the show wasn't scheduled to start until 11 and I had to be there at 6.30. Like big shows like to have early call times because you know they want to rehearse and they want to have the time to do their hair and makeup exactly how they want it to be. When I did the Kanye show, the call time was, what, five hours before? Backstage at shows, guys, is crazy. And if you've arrived late because you had a show before that, it's even harder for you. Um, usually, they just have some dead sandwiches, if that. There's shows where they don't even provide food and water for you. That's not a joke. So that's one. Two, the hair and makeup. Like, if you arrive late, they're jumping on you and you can have up to six people on you one person doing your left hand one person doing your right three people on your hair someone doing your makeup and it's a lot it's a lot it's not fun people are like don't you just love getting your hair and makeup done no it's not nice do you know how annoying it is having so many people on you pulling you oh let's do this oh let's put water let's put gel let's do this let's do that let's just put loads of black eyeliner and then you have to scrub it off for your next show and then they go oh let's put some more black eyeliner have to scrub that off for your third show and your third show will be the one where they're like no eyeliner no mascara no traces of anything and you have to scrub your eyes again 
your skin is so sensitive you start breaking out your hair is breaking off you can have your hair straightened at one show you'll go to the next show the hair is straight again you know what they're going to do they're going to straighten it even though you just had it straightened an hour ago they don't care they don't care about the model's well-being as such it's just something that you're meant to suck up and deal with do you know how many times i want to punch someone in the face and they're like <laughs> oh look at these broken bits of your hair yeah yeah it's done by people like you yeah i know my hair's broken at front and it's annoying guys it gets on your nerves but you know what you have to do <laughs> i know <laughs> it gets on my nerves it's draining and i'm always having you know these sort of disputes over my hair oh can we just put water in the front i just want to smooth the edges water and black hair don't mix oh can we just use it to just like smooth the edges are you not hearing what i'm saying black hair and water don't mix they're not nah can we put mousse no like they don't understand sometimes and it gets frustrating and you know it's already long if you're a model in general but when you're a black model it's extra long but i can't even be bothered to go into that like but then obviously there's some shows when you're backstage it's just super exciting i love jeremy scott i love doing his shows because you know backstage there's always food you know the hair and makeup's always going to be fun and he always uses the same hairdressers the same makeup artists so it's like people who i know and they know no hairspray no products no gel like leave leomi's head like just pull it back do whatever you need to do but they know not to fuck up my hair so that's nice and plus everything's just fun like jeremy scott shows are always fun i love doing tommy hill figure and it was my first time doing that show and it meant a lot to me because every season i push myself and i always think to myself i want to do something big i want to do something that i haven't done before i want to walk for a designer that you know i love and a show that really suits me and no joke this Tommy Hill figure was me to a T. It was Caribbean theme, they're playing reggae backstage, everyone was dancing, having a great time. That is the sort of stuff that I love and those are the moments that I live for, you know, because if Fashion Week was just dull shows 24-7, stress 24-7, by now I'm pretty sure nobody would want to do it. But it's just those little fleeting moments of excitement and happiness that make you feel like it's all worth it, you know.